It was a very different looking weather to start the day. A little misty at dawn, but a clear blue sky overhead. Sebring ready for the first race of the championship. Jim Glickenhaus and Roger Penske among the great and the good on the grid. Grand Marshal Jackie X waving the field away. Old Glory signifying the start of the eight hours and a big gap behind the prototypes to the GTs, but a big gap opened up early on by the LMP2 United Autosports pole sitter, Felipe Albuquerque going past the number eight Toyota. Oh goodness, said Brendan Hartley, we're in for a long day. And then past the Glickenhaus up to second place. Oh, look at that, says Andre Negrau, but he needn't have worried. His teammate in the uh, Alpine pulling away out front. In the GTE Pro field, Porsche had qualified 1-2. But Corvette was right behind them at the start. And in fourth place of all the GTs was the AM pole sitting Aston Martin of Ben Keating. He was soon caught by rival Paul Dallalana, the Northwest AMR car moving in front. And since then has led most of the race. Porsche had a penalty for pay for holding up the field at the beginning. And that allowed the uh, ever present Corvette to move through into the race lead. In LMP2, it was all about United Autosport early on. 22 and 23 battling for supremacy. Trouble for Jose Maria Lopez, the world champions in the number seven Toyota, out of the race after a seemingly fairly innocuous incident in traffic. A little tap on the barriers, but then coming back to the pits, carrying by his own admission too much speed, speared off into the barriers at the end of the lap. And that was all she wrote. Red flags flew, the race was stopped for 30 minutes for barrier repairs. Lopez was okay. Alpine pulled away again at the start with Toyota now with one car in the hunt, but two pit stops forced on them because of a lack of fuel under the safety car took them a little further out of the equation. Porsche's 92 car jumped the leader from Corvette in GTE Pro. The 91 car losing ground because of a rear wheel issue in their first pit stop. Then another safety car and full course yellow for debris recovery. A red flag flew for electrical storms. And as we were getting ready to get back underway, flew again after a brief running. The wave around has been completed. A couple of cars have had to take emergency top up with fuel. We are currently under red flag waiting for the electrical storm to pass.